dear friends in Christ, welcome to Tuesday of the 19th week in the ordinary time, year two. Every little child is a great mystery on what the future will be. Watching the human growth from the period of conception and seeing the fetus miraculously develop into a full human being is indeed a big miracle. Even at best, the human person is still an unfinished product and continues to grow until death. Old age does not stop that growth. It is only a part of the process. Every stage of this journey teaches its own lessons for those who are willing to reflect and to learn. Our first reading today comes from the prophet Ezekiel chapter 2 verses 8 to chapter 3 verse 4 and it's on the commissioning of the prophet Ezekiel. God said to him, you son of man, hear what I say to you, be not rebellious like that rebellious house. Open your mouth and eat what I give you. The prophet then saw a hand stretched towards him and was given a written scroll, written on both sides and asked to eat it. This is not the usual. The prophet had to digest the word and make it his own he must obediently accept what God is offering and present it to the people. The message was not the kind one can call good news. What he saw were words of lamentation and mourning and woe. It was nonetheless sweet as honey in his mouth. He must then go out and deliver it. A prophet is not his own man, he is called to be the mouthpiece of God. There are, however, many people who lay claim to so many things in the name of God. It is by their fruits we shall know them. We all, however, have access today to the Word of God. The Bible is the best selling book of all times. What has happened to our delivery of the message? that we have received. The gospel message of today is taken from Matthew chapter 18, verses 1 to 5, verse 10, and verses 12 to 14, and tells us that the disciples came to Jesus to ask, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? One would have expected Jesus to answer by mentioning maybe the priests, the Pharisees, the scribes, the religious leaders, and so on. Instead, he called to him a little child and said, Truly, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child, he is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Jesus is not requesting that we return to our mother's wombs or to the nursery, but to look at what a childlike life offers. A little child is a marvelous creature. He is unfinished and dependent. He is trustful and affectionate. He is eager to learn and improve. He is quick to forgive. He does not keep a grudge. And he has an open mind. This is what Jesus praised in children and wants adults to tap into. We all have these qualities as children. But our survival instinct has driven us to become more protective of ourselves and sometimes greedy and unconcerned about others. Can we get back to ourselves, our real nature, the hidden lessons from little children? Let us pray. Lord, we are your children. Give us the grace to embrace the childlike qualities that leads to true life in Christ. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.